triangle FGH is similar to triangle JKL, where angle F corresponds to angle J, and angles G and K are right angles. If the sine of F is 308 over 317, what is the value of sine of J? Okay, so we have two right triangles. Let me draw a better right triangle. And these triangles are similar, which means that all the angles are the same. So this angle equals that angle, and this angle equals that angle. And we'll say this is G and this is K, so then F and H, and then this is J, and this is L. So triangle FGH, triangle JKL, where G and K are the right angles. So we know that the sine of F, angle F, is equal to this number, 308 over 317. And what we need is the sine of J. Now, the problem tells us that these two triangles are similar, which means all the angles are the same. And if we look at the order of the letters, F is first, right? And J is also first, so that means these two angles are equal. Because in similar triangles, all the angles are the same. And since F corresponds to J, since G corresponds to K, then F and J have the same degree, which means that the sine of F is also equal to the sine of J, since they are equal triangles. So that means the sine of F has to equal 308 over 317. So the answer should be B, 308 over 317, the same as the sine of F. And this makes sense, because if we look at, like, say, a 3, 4, 5 triangle, right? And then we look at a larger triangle that is similar. So we'll just multiply all the sides by 2. So a 6, 8, 10 triangle. These are similar by the side, side, side theorem, since all the sides are just multiplied by 2 from here to here, which means all which means that when we take the sine of, say, this angle and this angle, so the sine here is, we'll call this angle x, so the sine of x is just equal to opposite over hypotenuse, which is 4 over 5, and then here the sine of, let's say, angle y, sine of y is just equal to 8 over 10. Now we can simplify this fraction to just 4 over 5. So for similar triangles, the sine and the cosine and even the tangent of corresponding angles, so x and y in this case, are equal. So the correct choice is answer B.